Hey guys, good morning. Um, this morning is our first morning in Puerto Vallarta. We're in Punta Mita, staying at the Conrad Hotel. And I did my little pack with me for our three nights trip. And I figured I'll do like a what's in my beauty bag version. So this morning my bag is still mostly intact so I zipped it right back up <laughs> so I can like go through it and share with you guys what's in my um, beauty bag. Now this was a rushed pack bag like I literally rushed through packing this bag. First of all this set I'm wearing from, is from H&M it's like a two piece um, velour kind of set and I think I have it in pink too. Alright, let's go through the bag. Okay, first and foremost is my brush hair. Um, this is just some random brush from CVS or so to brush on my wig. This is like an edge brush. You know, black girls will know this. This is like your edge brush. It helps to just like, you know, get those edges in and get fitted and see it. And while I was packing, I spotted this little headband. God knows why I threw it in there, but I threw it in there. I also got some Lysol disinfectant wipes. I know it is in my makeup bag or my beauty bag. This should be in my suitcase. I last minute threw my different gel, which is um, an Apolline retinoid for my skin. Um, I like always having some kind of like strong retinol for my face. All right, so I have my Black Girl sunscreen, which I absolutely love. Um, this is so great for black people. Um, I'm pretty sure anyone else can use it, but black girls, we if we use other type of sunscreen, sometimes they do leave like a white sheen over our skin. But this Black Girl sunscreen, honey, it does what it's supposed to do. It gives you the SPF coverage without um, the white on your skin. So this is for my face, body, everything today is I'm gonna head out to the pool. Um, this is my tongue scraper. If you don't have a tongue scraper, I recommend it. Um, this literally helps remove toxins from your tongue and from your body. It also helps just cleaning your tongue and keeping your breath fresher. Um, what else? Okay, so I popped a Mary Kay um, biocellular mask uh, in my, just to do like a masking probably tonight after spending a day in the sun. I love, love, love Mary Kay's mask. It's just so amazing on the skin. And this is like my favorite mask from them. Uh, makeup sponge. I had kind of washed this one right before I leave. I know it doesn't look like it's been washed, but trust me, it has been. So I'm going to pop this back right here so it doesn't go on the counter. And what's this in the corner right here? Let me put the cover back up. So this is just a travel bottle. My cousin had this hairspray that just made my hair so soft when I sprayed it on there. So I literally just poured some. I think it's from the Main Choice brand. So this makes my hair soft and I brought it with me. Okay, let's go in here before I go through those other two bags. Um, I brought healing ointment just in case I need it. Never know. Scratch a scrape. Uh, too much in the sun. So remember, this was like a fast, like super fast packing situation. So bear with me here. So I packed my Mary Kay Time Wise set. It comes with a small mini cleanser, a day cream, an eye cream, and a night cream. Since the trip was kind of like so short, I didn't think I need more than this. My cleanser situation and travel situation at home is a little bit different, but Mary Kay I can always, always, always easily incorporate. So this is the cleanser. This is the eye cream. This is the day cream, which I'll use before I put on my black girl sunscreen. And then this is the night cream. All right, let's keep going. Brought a little user in lotion. Sometimes you go to hotels, they don't necessarily have lotion. So I just picked this up in CVS, but this hotel has the Bayerido, um lotion, so that's good. Also, I did bring my toothbrush. <laughs> I forgot. I did take that. Um, bought a little pack of Neutrogena 
makeup remover. I know these makeup removers are controversial because they're not safe for the environment and I am working my way to giving them up. Honestly, I am, but I did pick it up. Favorite product I always have at home, always carry with me. Favorite, 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 favorite product in life and this is Summer Friday's Jet Lag Mask. What I can do with the Summer Friday's Jet Lag Mask is this can, on this can be my only moisturizer or the only thing in my bag or at home the only thing I use and I'm quite quite okay so love this always have it and this is the mini size um, toothpaste but my husband did bring toothpaste so I'll just put that there uh, didn't even organize my stuff also hyaluronic acid this is almost done so I figured okay great I could bring this and then I'll finish this here and I won't have to bring the bottle back home um, a mini deodorant. I mostly use natural deodorant at home while I'm at home, working at home, staying at home. Once I leave the house or I travel, I just use like regular deodorant because you know, well, if you don't know, it's that sometimes natural deodorant wears off so quickly. I'm trying to see if it's just makeup left in there so I could just go through like the makeup vibe. Yeah, I think it's just makeup I'm gonna go through now. Um, no particular order, but I have my Tarte setting spray. I have a bunch of setting spray. I just grabbed one on the way out. This is a Lancome perfume. I rarely finish my perfume. I've had it for a year, a little bit over a year. No, a year. It's not a full year yet. And this one is almost done, so I figured I'll just finish it here in Mexico. I also brought the small size of the... Um, Maison Francois Baccarat perfume just for like if we have one night we're going out to a fancy restaurant I brought, I brought this so I can smell like money um, this Urban Decay uh, eyeliner it's actually blue I'm not like your most adventurous with makeup but I figured in Mexico I have quite a few blue stuff I could probably like do a little blue right here and see how it works why not I should probably try it. Pixie by Petra. This is like a eye shadow. I absolutely love this eye shadow. It's a, it's probably a little bit too dark for. No, this is after the gold one. So I love their eyeshadows. Um, their stick eyeshadows goes on so nicely over my eyelids, and I'm not an eyeshadow person, but they make me one. Um, I shelved this in there right when I'm heading out. This is the Wonder Beauty um, foundation. This one's a little bit darker than me, but I usually one day, half a day, two hours in the sun, and I get like a shade darker, so I want my makeup to still look good when I'm here, especially for going out at night. Um, this is the NARS Concealer, darker one, again. And this is a Tatcha. I think you put on before you put on your makeup. Put Tatcha like in my T-zone. So right about here here and then whatever is left on my hand i will just rub it all over my face but primer there you go it's a primer but it's really good for dry skin so oily skin i'm sorry or if you have like an oily t-zone any oily area so i was heading out and i saw this diptyque one in my jewelry drawer i popped it in my bag okay so that's it for the big bag let's go into this small one so I do have um, this Revlon Rose Glow Face Gloss. And I'm gonna go out to the pool and just as I like, spend the day on the resort, I will just, after I'm done putting on like my moisturizer and stuff, I'll put this right on before I put on like my Black Girl Sunscreen SPF. This, and I also mix it, I could, with this L'Oreal sunlit bronzer it just gives my skin like a really nice like vacation glow and i really love that look it's like a natural look on my skin and it's like really glowing poolside all right so fenty beauty stick chanel waterproof eyeliner i love this eyeliner this is a fenty beauty mini eyeshadow stick are the colors that are in there this is a foundation i'll probably wear most because this foundation really goes on my skin super natural so like let's say i put on like the bronzer and the face gloss if i put this on as a foundation and just a little powder that's it it's really such an amazing foundation it gives good coverage like full coverage but it's light like it's not thick at all i love love this urban decay bro pomade 
want to just like your blush brush, your powder brush, uh, eyelid brush, eyebrow brushes, and all of that. So that's what's in my makeup travel bag. Now I am going to go get ready to head out, have some lunch, lay out by the pool. And if I'm going to do any work, I'm going to be working by the pool. So time to go. Two rooms. Um, hope you enjoy going through my makeup bag or my beauty bag. It's not makeup, my beauty bag with me.